okay, I'm sorry to do this to you, but we need to do a little scientific notation. Why? Because electrons and particles are so small. And so we need to be able to deal with really large numbers and we really need to deal with really small numbers. So, but this will be quick, I promise, and not very painful. So scientific notation, you may have already studied it in high school, but basically it's a way to abbreviate really, really large numbers like 6.25 quintillion or yeah or really really small numbers when you're dealing with something that's the size of an atom and it's really small so a scientific notation abbreviates very large or very small numbers here's the format a number period or decimal point a number point time or times 10 and then to the power of how many spaces from the decimal point we saw this in the previous uh, video right we saw that this is one coulomb of electrons. You know, I've got one coulomb of electrons here. How much is that? Well, that's six quintillion, 250 quadrillion electrons. What does that mean? It's a six with 18 spaces after it. Six, two, five, and then 16 more spaces after it. It is a really large number. And so there it is. That's the number. Six quintillion, 250 quatrillion, zero, 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 zero. If you start at the decimal point and count one, two, three, one, two, three, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 34 to 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, 6.25 and then six and 18 places um, next to it. Fit six and 18 spaces. You see how this goes? We took this first bit, we put a, a period there, and then 18 spaces. We say 6.25 times 10 to the 18th power. That's that's how we do it. And so instead of having to say, you know, hundreds, thousands, uh, millions, billions, trillions, quatrillions, quintillions, rather than having to say all the, that stuff, we can just write it like this. It's not really that hard. It might take you a second to kind of figure it out. It's number times 10 to how many spaces from the decimal point. Okay, so here's some prefixes. You may or may not know what a meter is. You probably know what a, a uh, yard is. A watt is a unit of power that if you do electricity, electronics, you're going to know about watts. Um, well, we again, we have really small, like a centimeter is only about that big. Um, that's 10 times, uh, that's 10 to the minus 2 power. What does that mean? That means that you move the decimal two places in the left because it's negative 2. So if it's a positive number, you go to the right in spaces. But if it's a negative number, you go to the left in spaces. So 10 to the minus 2 uh, meters is a centimeter. That's 0 .00, uh, uh, I'm sorry, 0 0.01 is uh, because you go, you move the, the decimal two places to get to right here. So 0 0.01 is a centimeter. What's a millimeter? A millimeter is 10 to the minus third power. That means we, we start here and we go three spaces this way. 0 0.001 is a millimeter. If you go in the opposite direction, a kilowatt is a thousand uh, watts. It's it, you move the the uh, decimal over three places, one, two, three, and you've got a thousand. Um, you've you've heard these things before, right? You've heard a kilowatt is, has to do with energy, uh, work that that uh, you pay you pay the electric company in kilowatts or megawatts. That's a one with six zeros after it. What is a micrometer? A micrometer. I'm sorry. That's the Greek letter mu, uh, which is the symbol for micro. Um, that's 10 to the minus 6. That means if I start right here after the 1 and go 6 spaces to the left, that's 1 micrometer. A na nanometer is 10 to the minus 9th. I start here next to the 1 and go to the left 9 spaces, point zero 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 and, until I get to the 1. That's a nanometer. Um, a megawatt has 6 zeros after the 1. A gigawatt, we're getting bigger and bigger and bigger. That's a one with nine zeros after it. And these symbols here, a small k, big M, big G, these are what you would put like, you would put CM, centimeter, or MM, millimeter, or mu M, micrometer, or NM, a nanometer. Um, or here you would do KW, kilowatt, or capital MW, megawatt, or capital GW, gigawatt. Uh, watch this video over and over again if, if you don't quite get it. W with memory, uh, computer memory, it's like crazy. A terabyte is a uh, one with 12 zeros after it of of bits of uh, bytes of memory. 
Um, a byte is like eight bits, I think, if I remember correctly, from years and years ago. I'll get it straight before we do a video on that someday in the world. But anyway, a one with 12 zeros after it. Well, so what is scientific notation? Scientific notation helps you um, put in a nice short hand really large numbers or really, really small numbers. And then these are some of the prefixes you use to name it um, also. So that you can say, rather than say to the to the negative uh, two power, you can say cent centimeter instead. Or instead of saying to the negative ninth power, which takes a lot of breath, you can just say it's a it's five nanometers or something like that. Well, this has been a very, very brief and therefore not completely adequate uh, introduction to scientific notation.